Law of Tort, Caparo Industries v. Dickman, 1990, 2 AC 605 House of Lords. Caparo v. Dickman is an important case for the law of negligence for two main reasons. 1. It established the Caparo test, Lord Bridges' three-stage test, for imposing a duty of care where there has been property damage or personal injury. 2. It set out the requirements of imposing a duty of care for pure economic loss. The Facts Caparo Industries purchased shares in Fidelity PLC in reliance of the accounts. The accounts stated that the company had made a pre-tax profit of £1.3 million. In fact, Fidelity had made a loss of over £400,000. Caparo bought an action against the auditors claiming they were negligent in certifying the accounts. The House of Lords held that the defendants were not liable and no duty of care arose. There was not sufficient proximity between Caparo and the auditors since the auditors were not aware of the existence of Caparo nor the purpose for which the accounts were being used by them. Lord Bridge stated, What emerges is that, in addition to the foreseeability of damage, necessary ingredients in any situation giving rise to a duty of care, there should exist between the party owing the duty and the party to whom it is owed a relationship characterized by the law as one of proximity or neighborhood. The situation should be one in which the court considers it fair, just and reasonable that the law should impose a duty of a given scope upon the one party for the benefit of the other. This became known as the Caparo test consisting of three stages, 1. Reasonable foresight of harm, 2. A relationship of proximity, 3. Is it fair, just and reasonable to impose liability? It is important to note, that following Robinson v. C.C. West Yorkshire there is no need to apply the third stage of the Caparo test unless it is a novel ground of liability. In relation to economic loss, Lord Bridge stated, It is one thing to owe a duty of care to avoid causing injury to the person or property of others. It is quite another to avoid causing others to suffer purely economic loss. To hold the maker of the statement to be under a duty of care in respect of the accuracy of the statement to all and sundry for any purpose for which they may choose to rely on it is not only to subject him, in the classic words of Cardozo CJ, to liability in an indeterminate amount for an indeterminate time to an indeterminate class. For a duty of care to arise for pure economic loss there must be a special relationship consisting of specialist knowledge or skill on the part of the party giving the advice, reasonable reliance, direct communication, knowledge of the purpose of the advice, and no disclaimer or exclusion of liability. In summary, Caparo v. Dickman. Facts. The claimant purchased shares in reliance of the negligently prepared accounts. Decision, no liability, no duty of care arose. Ratio 1, Lord Bridges' three-stage Caparo test. Ratio 2, for a duty of care to arise for pure economic loss, there must be a special relationship. This video is part of a series of videos on law from www.e-lawresources.co.uk. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash at e-lawresources. It's free to do so and will help us to keep providing these videos. Check out our website which provides lecture outlines and case summaries. See also www.e-lorevision.org.uk for revision games and quizzes. Thanks for watching.